Jumbo, welcome to today's lesson. Today we are going to talk about how to ask the questions that have, are, have, did, and will in Kiswahili. Here we use kiimbo or intonation to bring out the question in a statement. So this type of question that I mentioned in the beginning. So let's consider this part. Part 1, umekula, you have eaten. Part 2, umekula, have you eaten? You see the intonation changes. Part 3, you are surprised. Umekula, you have eaten. You see, you are surprised. So the intonation on the second part, we are dealing with it in the next part. Umekula. Have you eaten? You see, this just changed from a normal statement, umekula, you have eaten, to a question. Have you eaten? Now, you can also say, J umekula. This J umekula, I have explained it in the at the end of the video. Kindly check. How to ask the R questions in Swahili. So, R questions like, are you sick? Are you okay? Those questions. So, all you have to do here is to change the intonation of your statement. Kwamfano. Kwamfano means, for example, statement one. Wewe ni mwanafunzi. You are a student. Wewe ni mwanafunzi. You are a student. So in part B, when changing this to a question, are you a student? So we say, wewe ni mwanafunzi. Wewe ni mwanafunzi. You know, this statement is different from wewe ni mwanafunzi. Wewe ni mwanafunzi. Are you a student? Also consider these examples. Unafuraha. You are happy. So in a question format will be. Unafuraha. Unafuraha. Are you happy? Are you happy? Consider also this example three. Tunaenda. We are going. Tunaenda. Are we going? Tunaenda. So this format also applies to the did, have, and will questions. So the format of changing the intonation of your statement. Examples are part A. Ulikula. You ate. Ulikula. Did you eat? Ulikula. Did you eat? You can also say, J ulikula. You can add that J. J ulikula. Okay, part C. Umeandika. You have written. Umeandika. Have you written? Umeandika. Have you written? Utaenda. You will go. Utaenda. You will go. Utaenda. Will you go? Utaenda. Will you go? Utaenda, will you go? Utalala, you will sleep. Utalala, will you sleep? So this format actually, you can also say, J, utalala. Let me just tell you in the next clip. J, J, unanipenda, do you love me? So this question you can also say, unanipenda, as just I have explained previously there. J, unanipenda, do you love me? J, umekula, have you eaten? J, tutaenda, will we go? J, wewe ni daktari, are you a doctor? So if you are using also J, just remember that you also have to use the, uh, the asking intonation. So to show that it's a question, J, tutaenda, you cannot just say J, tutaenda. That will not make sense. J, tutaenda. So you have to, so you choose which one you want to use. Either you omit that J or you include that J, the choice is yours.